Cut. My name is Joshua Boetsy. Um, I'm boxing at Madison Square Gardens this Saturday, June the 1st, um, against Antonio Perryman um, of Mexico. So it'll be a great clash, Great Britain versus Mexico. How I got into the sport of boxing, my best friend who's actually, he was meant to be here, but he's not here at the moment, um, came to our old estate, bought a lot of boxing gloves um, in his boot. It was the summer. He came to the estate, we all tried on the boxing gloves, everyone sparred each other. Um, this is where I thought big guys could fight because of the size, then I learned that it's not about the size. So that was like my first experience with boxing. Um, and then from then, that led me on to finding, finding an actual amateur boxing gym where I could actually like fight with the regulated rules, yeah. So I started boxing in 2009. Um, I had about 37 bouts at national level. I got into Great Britain in 2014. August 2014 and um, the Olympic Games were August 2016 so I had I was kind of fast-tracked um, for the two years to qualify for the Olympic Games and thankfully I was able to also win a medal so coming back from the Olympics with a medal especially there's a lot of offers on the table um, a lot of offers man from the States from the United Kingdom um, from the top promoters I would say and I think and I think what it was was I didn't turn pro straight away because I was in my last year in university, so in the, U in the United Kingdom we do three years. I had one year left and I thought, do I want to just fall out because of this medal or do I want to go the extra mile and finish it? But while I was deciding what promo I was going to go with, I was back at uni, finishing the degree, getting the grades that I needed to get. And um, again, thankfully I managed to get a good grade, um, 11 months down the line, and to turn pro with an Olympic medal. Right now I've got the degree and it was about what promo I was going to go with, what team I was going to join. Um, again, a lot of offers were on the table, but I think what stood out for me about Matchroom was that they had, most of the champions were with them, so they could tell you dates and you'd see those dates happen. Um, now, in terms of the team to join, I thought, what team has got an athlete that's been there and done that? A similar path to myself in terms of going through the Olympic path and who's done it successfully. Um, the team that Josh has got around him were the team that stood out to me. A very small team, but a very effective team. You watch legendary fights and you're like, oh, okay, this is MSG, this is where they fought. I wonder what it was like being in the audience, let alone being part of the card and let alone actually boxing in that card. It's not getting to me, but I'm like, oh, this is mad. If someone told me two years ago, you'd box, you'd box at MSG, what would I think? And I'd be like, nah, you're talking rubbish, that wouldn't happen. So. So it's amazing to actually be in this position to box at such an um, iconic um, venue. At James Tony, um, Evander Holyfield, Joe Fraser, Ali, the list goes on, man. So watching fighters like that, knowing that this is where they've been um, and this is where I'm at now, fighters that I looked up to, to know that this is where they're from and I'm here to fight in the home turf, it's, it's amazing, man. I'll, I'll get past Saturday and I think for the rest of the year, maybe two more, two to three more fights um, in terms of who they are. I'm not too sure. I'd like to think I'd probably defend the British title once or twice. I'm not too sure, but um, Saturday is the most important for right now. Get that out of the way. Um, go back to England, sit down with the team, and then we make a move.